Hey there everyone, Chris here, and I'm super thrilled that you're here to share with me a little bit of music that I wrote a number of years ago as part of a score that I wrote for a movie called Just the Vampire Hunter. So Just the Vampire Hunter. It was a, a score that I was asked to write that the director and writer of this movie wanted uh, to combine flamenco guitar, hey, <laughs> flamenco guitar with uh, electric uh, guitar and other type of music from the 1970s. So he wanted this combination, uh, really wanted the, the feel, the authenticity of flamenco guitar, but mixed with this other music. And uh, I was just super uh, honored and fortunate to get that call. And uh, I had a great time making the music. Got to play uh, not only lots of flamenco guitar, but uh, electric guitar and create all kinds of different songs and have all kinds of cool stuff. So anyway, if you are interested at all in that, I'm going to leave the link below so you can check out the music for that whole entire score. Uh, all right. So for the guitars, for the guitar lesson. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this theme that goes with a low C sharp on that E string. So from standard tuning, you're going to take it down to C sharp. How would you do that? What I recommend is you put your first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, and that is a C sharp. Okay. And then start lowering this, kind of keep that in your mind, and then lower that sixth string until it's the low octave of that string. I would go below it, go below C sharp a little bit, and then go back up to it. So, so that's a little flat back up to it. It'll just increase the probability that we'll stay in there, but if you've had your guitar at standard tuning for a long period of time, just expect to keep on lowering the string a bit. It's going to want to uh, sharpen up a little bit on you, okay? So while you have your first finger on that fourth fret of the fifth string, now we're going to add another finger. We're going to add the power chord, so we're going to put the fifth up here. We're going to put our ring finger, our third finger, and it has to be your third finger in order to play what we're doing, okay? So if you don't have the capacity in your fret hand to make this stretch, and you normally use your pinky, then uh, this might be a challenge for you, this little musical excerpt that we're going to do. So put your third finger there on the sixth fret of the fourth string, and that is a power chord. It's a C-sharp power chord. But now we have this low octave that we can include. So see, just the Vampire Hunter. All right. And you might get a little bit more buzz than usual from that low E string because it's now it has more slack, right? So just get used to that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to need our pinky because now we're going to augment that fifth. Oh boy. Isn't that cool? Nice. And I'm just using my thumb right now just to demonstrate what's happening here. Now we are going to, in a little bit, now we're going to flat, we're going to do a diminished fifth. Oh man, it gets even more sinister. So in the fifth fret of that fourth string. So we're working that fifth, sixth, and seventh, okay? So, but our home base is that sixth fret. And then we're going to go to the seventh fret, and then the sixth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, and then we're going to go to the fifth fret. So we're going to go 6th fret, 7th fret, 6th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. So I knew I was on to something when it sounds catchy and it's super simple. Like for me as a composer, if it's simple and it's really catchy, then I'm like, hey, that is golden. Uh, I've done something golden there. Uh, you, then the trick is not to mess it up with being too fancy, which I try not to do. Uh, but now what you just outlined, by doing that, we outlined a bulerias compas. So this theme, this particular theme, is in bulerias. So if you are new to the bulerias rhythm in flamenco, I am going to put links up here because I've gotten much better at that. If you've been watching through the videos, there was a while I had no idea how to do that. But now I've done it enough that I know how to do that. So there should be a link up here, and there will definitely be a link below to my whole series on 
Boolidius for beginners, okay? So make sure to watch that if any of this sounds a little crazy. And we are going to do more advanced stuff at the end of this video that isn't in any of those videos. So make sure to watch through on this, okay? All right. So we outlined, just by that melody, we outlined a Boulidias compas, two compas, two passes of 12, okay? So now let's count it. We go 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, That already sounds really cool, even with me counting out like that, okay? But now we're going to make it busier. So we're going to make it really busy, and then we'll start taking stuff away. So right now, I just want you to go down with your three fingers, or some people use more like an index finger, just down, and then up with your thumb, okay? So we're just going to strum that. Now, as we do this, because we were just doing the thumb before, it wasn't, we weren't really risking hitting these top three strings. We don't want to hit those top three strings. When we strum, the risk of hitting those top three strings goes way up. So what I recommend is now lazing up this first finger, drape it across those top three strings so they don't ring. So you can hit them and they sound like percussive, okay? So now we get that added effect. I still want you to aim though, aim with your, your strumming hand. You should only really be uh, strumming those bottom three strings, but just in case you have those muted, okay? So now we're gonna add eighth notes, eighth note subdivision. So we're gonna go 12 and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. If not, just keep on working. That's the beauty of YouTube. You just rewind it and keep on going. All right, so I do want to let you know that I have a YouTube flamenco family, so please consider joining that. The link is going to be below, but uh, anybody in my YouTube flamenco family gets the whole lesson plan for this lesson all written out with the compas and all that stuff and the stuff that we're going to do later, the more advanced stuff even is in it, okay? Um, but lots of cool stuff at, you know, you'll immediately get lots of access to all kinds of other lessons, anything on YouTube, you'll, you'll get those lesson plans. So please consider that. Uh, I'm going to give you a virtual hug in advance for signing up for YouTube Flamenco family. Um, anyway, so that would super help me out and that would be super awesome. But if you can't do that right now, totally cool. I still, if you can, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe, hit the notifications button. That helps me out a ton, and uh, then you'll be able to know when I'm uploading my next video, which should be pretty soon. I do this quite a bit. So, um, all right. So, back to this Boulidias with that low C sharp. So, hopefully you've been working that. You feel squared away. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to cut, I'm going to truncate what we're doing, and we're just going to concentrate on that three beats because it's really the three accents of three, okay? So now what I want to do is we're going to go 12 and 1 and 2 and. So now we're going to see how I'm going up with the thumb. And so I still have to go, the downstroke is still there. It's just that I'm missing the strings because I can't go up with my thumb twice in a row without going, passing through those strings again. Okay? But I'm just not hitting them. So now if we go, I'm just going to say 12 and 1 and 2 and 12 and 1, and we're just going to kind of be stuck in a loop on that, those first three beats, okay? So we go uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 1 and 2 and 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 2 and 12 and 1 and 2 and 12 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 and 2 and Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and one, and two, and 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 twelve, and one, and two, and. So now, 
we can go through the whole rhythm just doing that version of the the pattern with our picking hand okay so let's do that 9 10 11 12 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and uh, uh, I just messed that up start over 9 10 11 12 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and can't guarantee I could do all that again, so I'm just going to leave that be, okay? So I got that, and now you can rewind it and do that, all right? So, uh, so now we have that, okay? So you have that, and now I'm not saying that I play the rhythm like that the entire time. It's just now you have the busy version, and you have that version, and eventually you kind of mix and match, and you go by feel, okay? Now, we're going to add the abanico rasqueado. Uh, the, you can say uh, rasqueado, you can say rajeo, you can say rasqueo. I don't know. It's strumming. It's the art of strumming in flamenco. Okay? So, uh, but this is the abanico. So the abanico is, abanico means fan. Like this, like, uh, like a handheld fan. Abanico. Um, and so that abanico, I think that it's brilliant that it was called that. I don't know. I wasn't there in the decision-making process when they named this technique. <laughs> but what the motion that you use to fan yourself with a handheld fan, you know, uh, is the same motion that you use to do the abanico technique, okay? So we're gonna, I do have, oh, <laughs> I have abanico uh, lessons completely, you know, just about abanico. So check those out. I should put a link up here, maybe. If not, it will definitely be down in the comments or the description, okay? So, all right. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is, uh, for you to just start, if you're new to the abanico, just do nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? Nine, 10, 11, 12. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And those are triplets. Triplet, triplet, triplet. See how bad it sounds when you don't mute that. I hit one of those. Yeah, I wasn't muting. Okay, so that's 9, 10, 11, and then we go on 12. Okay, so at the end of each compas, this is a two compas phrase. This little theme is a two compas phrase. At the end of each one, I do that abanico rasqueado. So with that, I'm going to try to do this where I do it like that. Um, with the triplets because eventually now I'll show you the next advancement after that in a minute. I'm going to put the metronome on 160. So what I do in order to accomplish this because I don't play it this way, I'm adjusting it, I'm giving you different levels, okay? I don't play it this way. Um, I stop on eight because if we go the eighth notes, the down on eight, and then my thumb is already down ready to, the, to do the abanico on nine, 10, 11, okay? So I think that's what works out best for me in this version, getting you uh, little by little to what I actually play, okay? So 160. 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's another adjustment that has to be made uh, that I didn't think about. <laughs> that because I end on 12 with an up, so I actually go 12, 1, 2, and then I go and 3, 4, 5, okay? 12, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and, and 3, and 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, There I started the abanico earlier, okay? So it's not written in stone, it's kind of ends up being all by feel, okay?
So it's that feel that I want to create. Um, and I'm not thinking about that stuff when I create it. I just do this. Um, so uh, I'm trying to break it down little by little and hopefully I'm having some kind of success. All right. So now the next secret. And I think I talked about this in one of the Abanico videos that I alluded to earlier. But a lot of times as flamenco guitarists, we don't think about the subdivision of that abanico. Okay, we just fit as many as we can within a certain amount of beats. Okay, so I said that generally it starts around for this particular phrase that I created this this theme. It starts around nine and definitely ends on 12 so that it has a definite end on 12. And then it starts usually around the nine. Okay. And then I do the abanico as many times as I can between those two points. However, that ending point is fixed. So I want to let you know that as you get better at your abanico and as you're going through as fast as you can, getting as many into that little segment of time, that you have to be prepared to eject out of that abanico at any point in it. So you have three strokes. You have the up with the thumb, the down with the the two middle fingers or a single middle finger or whatever, however you do it, and then down with the thumb, you have those three points, and you're playing as fast as you can, you have that hard stop that you have to end that technique by. So you just gotta make sure that you know how to get out of that and can be able to go back into the rhythm immediately, okay? So there you have it. So now let's start playing a little bit more closely to how I play it. So we have that. Here, I generally, uh, I think, I start with a, a golpe, okay? And then I start going with this strum that I shared with you. So I do a thumb with a golpe. There's a full, um, you know, theme, that particular melody, that theme, and that theme is for one of the characters in the movie. Um, and I do a bunch of stuff with that theme, and then we do this with electric guitars and all kinds of other cool stuff in that, in the, throughout the score. So check that out. The link is below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you've liked and subscribed the video. i uh, got lots of cool stuff, and... Um, what else? Oh, if you are still with me, man, you are awesome. And <laughs> fist bump. Uh, <laughs> if you're still with me right now watching this video, uh, I super love you. And <laughs> uh, I do have something else uh, below in the link below. I have created the Daily Dozen, and it's what I consider to be the top 12 most essential flamenco guitar techniques that all of us have to practice daily and I call it the Daily Dozen. And so the Daily Dozen includes all of those techniques and how to practice them and gives you a practice regimen. And I have a link below that you can get it for free. Uh, so follow that link and it's like 14, 15 pages of material and explanation on how to do the techniques. And it's like a little mini book, but with the actual uh, material to practice, okay? So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on what we just did or any, uh, any requests. There's a whole comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and I'm also going to leave a direct contact link in the description so you can get in touch with me directly if you have any questions as well, okay? Thank you so much. I wish you tons of success in your guitar playing, and uh, I'll see you soon, okay? Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.